Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, November 5th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The DA today published another diary-related PDF analysis and how to use QPDF uh, together with uh, DDA's own tool PDF ID as well as PDF parser.py. The issue that the DA is discussing here is encrypted PDFs. If you do have an encrypted PDF, the structure of the encrypted PDF is still visible. However, the details, of course, are not visible because they are encrypted. So, for example, you'll be able to see what kind of streams are available, also if there are any URIs in the PDF. But beyond that, in order to learn more about the PDF, you first need to decrypt it. And that's where QPDF comes in. It allows you to decrypt the PDF if you provide the password. Once decrypted, then of course, it's pretty straightforward to read the PDF into PDF Parser to learn more details. There's also an option to have a PDF that's marked as encrypted, but is encrypted with an empty password. In that case, QPDF will just simply decrypt it for you. And Okta released an update for Okta Verify, fixing a vulnerability that may allow an attacker to retrieve passwords from a compromised system. So first of all, in order to exploit the vulnerability, the attacker has to have already access to a system with the Okta Verify agent for Windows installed. And you must have the desktop multi-factor authentication passwordless login enabled. In this case, there is the Okta device access pipe that is uh, being accessible and that's how an attacker may be able to obtain the passwords used by Okta Verify. Updates are available. And QNAP released another patch today. This patch for a change does not affect their network storage device. Instead, it affects their uh, perimeter security device, Q router. Very little known here about the vulnerability as far as uh, the extent or severity of the vulnerability goes. However, it was recently discovered at a pwn to own contest. And based on the price awarded, it's probably some kind of remote code execution vulnerability. So definitely something that you do want to patch quickly. And then we got uh, more details regarding a recently discovered and patched SQLite vulnerability. This particular vulnerability was discovered by Google's uh, Project Zero and they used what they're calling a Big Sleep, which is their AI agent that is able to apparently find a zero day vulnerabilities. And this SQLite vulnerabilities was the first vulnerability found with this particular software. The real nice thing, and that's sort of a little bit where the promise is with these sort of more automated uh, tests, is that this vulnerability was actually found before this particular version of SQLite was released to the public. As a result, there is really nothing that you should worry about regarding this vulnerability because, well, if you installed the published version of SQLite, this particular vulnerability has already been addressed. Google points out that this new tool in particular is successful even if other techniques like, for example, fuzzing have already been used on the software. So it certainly does find new and different vulnerabilities than you were able to find using these more traditional techniques. And talking about regular SQL, not SQLite, we also have a new update for Soho's Manage Engine 80 Manager Plus. This particular vulnerability is a SQL injection vulnerability. However, it's only exploitable if the user is already authenticated. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening. Thanks for recommending this podcast and talk to you again tomorrow.